All right, I want to continue on with cylinders um, in perspective um, and uh, continue to do it in, uh, in one point perspective. Um, but it's going to kind of be as if it were in, in, two, per, in two point perspective this time. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw the, the horizon line. We're still envisioning uh, the circle with a square around it um, to locate our, our cylinder. Now, um, cylinders don't really look interesting when you look at them like this. Um, they look a lot more interesting when you can see one complete ellipse. So we're going to try that. And this time we're going to project it uh, this way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is kind of like half of a two point perspective, <laughs> not exactly uh, one point. So we're going to start with our, uh, with our uh, front plane and we're going to see this whole ellipse right here. And we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, last time and uh, draw this rectangle around, around the plane so that we can find our exact mathematical center and project it through. So we're at 3 quarters of an inch, so 3 eighths. All right, I'm gonna measure this too. We're at uh, a little over two and a quarter. So about right there and right there. So we found our, our tangent points. Remember from geometry class, in middle or high school. I guess the most important thing with ellipses is is, is uh, do what feels right. This is where your intuitive sense of of drawing comes in big time. All right, we're basically uh, we're basically done. Really, all we have to do is uh, uh, drop another vertical where we want um, want this to end, um, and then we want to uh, draw a complementary ellipse that feels that feels proper. So we know that this is going to come back to find our tangent. We'll just come back. Uh, drawing from our tangent point here to here. All right. So I know that that's going to be the center of the ellipse. And draw what feels right. And that's it. Pretty simple. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could complete the ellipse, draw through the form, but I don't really think that's necessary. So now we've successfully projected an ellipse this way. Um, you know, you might want to uh, play around with um, how wide this is, you know, so you could have an ellipse that's more like that. Or narrower, it just depends on uh, what you're trying to represent. 